Hey guys, we have here our Comcast Xfinity Gateway, in this case here the XB3. And in this video, we want to explain to you how to replace this gateway with a newer version. Here in this uh, example here, we're using the XB7. Now the new gateway does come with a coax cable as well as a uh, power supply. And since we are just replacing the existing older gateway with a new one, we don't really need uh, the new coax cable. We can just simply reuse the one that we've been using before. So we're going to just twist this off of the uh, existing gateway. And then we're going to plug it into the uh, port here on the back side of our XB7. And then of course, don't forget to screw it on all the way to the end so that it's really tight and we get a very good connection. And then the brand new coax cable, the one that we are not using, I'm just going to return together with the uh, gateway, with the old gateway when we're bringing it back to the Comcast store. Now, in case we do have additional cables plugged into the back of our original router, for example, an ethernet cable or a phone line, then now is the time to unplug those from the original router here from the XP3. Uh, for example, here this Ethernet cable, and we can unplug this by just pressing down on this little plastic lever here. So you have to press down on the lever and then we can easily pull it out of the uh, gateway. And then we're going to switch over, switch all of those cables that we have connected to the old gateway. We're going to uh, connect those to the new gateway. You see here we have this little uh, yellow square that indicates where the uh, ethernet cables go into and you're just going to plug uh, the ethernet cable in one of those uh, four ports here and uh, make sure you have it in the right orientation so that the lever really clicks into position and then the uh, we cannot pull out that ethernet cable anymore and then one of the last steps is to connect the uh, power adapter so on the back side again here where this blue port is on the very bottom that's where we plug in here this barrel connector and then of course the other end of the cable here that goes straight into our outlet and at this point we should now see an led light up at the top of our gateway so it should be blinking first in orange then eventually it will switch to green and after green comes uh, blinking white and eventually it also will be uh, constantly white but at this point we're going to switch here to our smartphone app to the xfinity app so in case you don't have that on your phone yet then you should download it from the uh, app store or from the google play store so for android as well as for iphone and then once you start this and you're going to sign in with your account information then you will see that now your internet is offline so that makes total sense because we have disconnected our old gateway and switched to a new one which at this point we have to register and in order to do that at the bottom of the screen we're going to switch to account and then here we're going to scroll all the way down where we're going to find activate x gateway or modem so let's select that in the following menu, we're going to select activate the XFi gateway. Then we select get started and use the camera. And now this is going to activate the camera of our phone. We're going to point that at the bottom of our gateway where it's going to read a barcode. Then we're going to go through a couple of tips here on how to set up or how to position our gateway correctly to get the best reception. Now at this point we're going to take a look at the gateway and the light on the top should be permanently white and if that's the case I'm going to confirm this on the app and now we can also enable some, some uh, security settings and also the uh, firmware of the uh, gateway is going to be upgraded or updated in the next step so we want to do this it says it's going to take 10 minutes but uh, for me actually I think it took maybe two or three minutes total and then after the firmware has been updated then the entire gateway is going to reboot it's going to restart and this is going to take a couple of minutes it's going to go through the different uh, steps with the led where it's lighting in orange and green and then white and then eventually it's going to be running completely and we can check the speed of our new gateway and that was it for our uh, replacement of the uh, xfinity 
uh, gateway and i hope you found this video helpful and if you have any more questions then please leave a message below